Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Basin here. Uh, this video is about Basin.js. So Basin.js is going to let your customers uh, submit to your form without leaving the page. And it'll also help you configure uh, spam protection with invisible recaptcha. So we developed this because um, the JavaScript to manually implement this yourself is needlessly hard. Um, so we're going to do the heavy lifting for you. Okay, so in this video, we're going to assume you already have a Basin account. And we're going to copy this endpoint. And we're going to assume you already have a Webflow website. So if we go to our Webflow website and to our contact form on the contact page, go ahead and click on it. And then down here, make sure that you don't get the wrapper, but you actually get the form. We're going to plug in our Basin action set it to post and then we'll make sure that we set the custom form attribute to database and form and this is what allows uh, our base in JavaScript to know which forms on the page um, to take over so we'll save that and now we just need to actually include the base in JS script so if we head over to our base in docs and copy paste it and it needs to go on the contact page into the before closing body tag. And this does require a Webflow uh, workspace plan. So, uh, but in theory, if you export your Webflow site, this would all continue to work. So we've hit save on that, um, and we're gonna publish it to our Webflow site here. And then we will take it for a spin. And Anthony, Anthony at usebasin.com testing for video. And I don't see any bicycles, so we'll skip. Get some traffic lights. You never know where to click on those. And there we go. Thank you for your submission. Your submission has been received. And if we go back to my basin form, you'll see that I've, in fact, Got my submission here. Testing for video. Uh, and that's all there is to it. So thanks for tuning in. Um, if you check out in the video description, uh, we'll include a link to the docs that includes all the possible use cases and um, some of the configuration options in case you need to get a little bit more complicated. Uh, that's all. Thanks for watching.